Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to this uh, little st stitch and chat. Um, I wanted to show um, you guys how I'm stitching the skin of my Mirabilia. Um, when I'm looking in the screen, it looks, uh, the lighting looks a bit weird, but, uh, we'll see if, uh, if uh, it's okay anyway. Uh, so yeah, I'm stitching the Mirabilia. Uh, I finished the dress and now I'm on to the skin. I think the skin is uh, four different shades. One, two, three, three maybe. Three shades, yeah. And um, I've started with the lightest and I finished this part and, and the arm here. Um, so I counted myself up to this place. So I'm gonna stitch this part here. And uh, Mirabilia's is called for to stitch uh, with two threads over two, and which I've done here on the dress. Uh, but I've learned that uh, the fractional stitches will be easier uh, when you stitch the skin if you stitch one over one. So that's what I'm doing here. Uh, so it will give a very nice effect. Uh, when you do like that. And I also learned that it's easier to fill out the back stitching with a temporary thread uh, to see uh, where you need, need to fill out um, with stitches. So that's what I'm trying. So this is the first time I'm stitching uh, skin on a Mirabilia. It's my first Mirabilia uh, at all, so yes. And the green outlines is uh, for the the gloves, but the gloves I will stitch two over two. So I'm stitching with uh, nine forty eight. I think it's like eight o'clock in the morning and I've already I've already driven driven my husband to his job to his work because I needed the car uh, today and after I left him at work I went to my mom's place took a cup of coffee and we went uh, shopping food uh, for the upcoming week so the store opened at seven o'clock in the morning and we were there before they opened the doors so we were early but now you know the shopping is done I yeah no the time can't be eight it has to be like nine o'clock um, so yeah came home put everything in the fridge and the freezer and made some coffee. I don't know how many cups of coffee I've already drink drinking, drunk. Oh my God. I don't know how you bend the, the words in English that well. So now it's time for a little bit of stitching. Um, So I'm starting the thread, uh, so I just go down and leave a tail and go up where I'm going to continue stitching. And the stitches are so tiny, I'm going to try to zoom in all the way so you can see how small they are. Uh, but I can see that I've only done half stitches, one, two, three, four. So now I need to take a look at my pattern here. Um, 
one, two, three, four. And I wonder Yeah, so that's one. So two of these stitches equals one over the one of the bigger stitches like you can see here you have a lot of small squares so 2 over 2 equals one of these squares so now I need to stitch stitch four small stitches one over one equals one of the squares so let's count I need one two three four five six seven times two so that's 14 minus plus that one so that's 15 one two three four five whoops I didn't mean to do that restart We have some dog hair. One, two. No, I want to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that dog hair, don't want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So now I need to just uh, calculate to count and make sure it's the correct one. So one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I need one more, I think. So I knew this was going to happen because yesterday I started stitching the row up here and I was thinking that, oh, there's no problem. I'm going to remember what I was doing tomorrow when I get back to the stitching and I'm not. So it was uh, stupid of me to start something. And now I don't really remember how I was, I was thinking yesterday. One, two, three, and four. So now it's equal to there. So I need to check again. One, two, three, four, and up. This should be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. feels as if I'm no this must be right one two three four so four stitches equals two of the big ones so two Three, 
vor. And seven, so maybe I didn't need to fill that half stitch or the quarter stitch. Yep, that looks fine to me. So, and we need to do two rows of this. Let's see. Yeah, we need to do another row here. thing I've bought a new thing to hold my phone while I'm filming and that thing that is holding the camera is like in the middle of the uh, viewfinder so it's a bit difficult to see what you see I think the next time when I'm doing this, I think I will just go with two strands of thread and just do 10 stitches. I think that will look uh, better, maybe. So I'm using DMC cotton thread um, but I am going to try to do skin with silk thread so I'm really looking forward to to receive those. Um, I've ordered some from Russia and some from Italy. I wish we had stores in Sweden who have all these amazing threads and fabrics and patterns and everything. But it's like, yeah, it's impossible to, to find. So now I've done one row, which equals one row of the rows in the pattern. So. I have to always double that up when I'm stitching one over one. But I think the colors look really nice on screen. Uh, it's difficult with this background because it's almost the same uh, color. So I need to mark off where I stitched, of course. And then I need to go down and then I'm gonna stitch just a, just a, let's see here. I might need to fill out this stitch, but I'm not sure. No, I think I'll wait with that and see what happens. So how many is there between one, two, three, I think I need to go down here. And there is 
two between one and two. That looks about right. And a half, maybe. So I'm going to stitch a line which will end at the same length over here. Yeah, uh, the difficult part is, I don't think it's difficult that you have to stitch four small stitches to fill out the square, which you would just do one big stitch with two threads. The, f the challenge for me at the moment is the partial stitches. Um, since I, I outlined with this uh, thread already, uh, it doesn't match up quite as well as on the pattern. So I, I get a little bit unsure if um, I should do some of the partial stitches anyway or just leave it. So maybe when I've stitched the whole part, the whole skin, maybe it's easier to see than if I should put, put in more stitches or not. So it's time to cut off the tails. And I'm using um, uh, Fiskar, how do you, Fiskars the f from Finland. I love these scissors, They're very nice. So let me just do this line as well for you to, sh to see how it's going to look. So now we're going to count every second stitch. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Ten, eleven, twelve. So 13 
big squares. Let's see. I need to count. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Perfect. So that's correct. So I need to do another line with the same amount of stitches. And I can see now that or tell already that my thread is way too short. So it's not going to be enough to finish this row. I'm sorry if my hand is in the way. I'm trying to not be in the way. So when I'm stitching one over one like this, I stitch uh, two handed. So I have my right hand up on top and the left hand underneath. And uh, I haven't always stitched two handed. Uh, I've always stitched in hand before. Um, So now the, the thread is too short, so I'm just going to um, pull it up over here and leave the tail and secure the thread while stitching over it in the back. So yeah, I haven't always um, stitched um, two-handed, always in hand um, until I started my first heaven and earth design which were which was um, train of dreams by Randall Spangler it's the one design I would like to restitch as a super sized and max colors that would be such a joy to do that but I have so many other designs so I won't do that but that would be nice um, So yeah, when I started that stitching two-handed, I'm very right-handed. My left hand can't do much. So all of a sudden I was gonna take control of a needle and find holes without, you know, I can't see underneath my fabric. so. I had to learn that muscle memory from from scratch. Um, it didn't take that long, but I was very motivated to to learn. So um, that's very nice. I don't regret it at all. Um, the funny thing is that some people have <coughs> say that the dominant hand should be underneath because it will be easier. Uh, so when I try to have my left hand on top and my right underneath, it feels really strange. But I think if I would take my time, I think I would learn for sure And maybe my stitching would be faster once I learned that. But not now. <laughs> so yeah, let's just switch back to what feels comfortable and right. So tomorrow is the 1st of July and 1st of July means 
new start. So I'm going to make a new start tomorrow and I made up my mind to which it's going to be. And I'm actually considering bringing you guys on for this new start. I didn't like how that turned out. Yeah, that was better. And uh, since I haven't received all the kits that I've ordered from Canada, um, I could start a new Mirabilia, but I'm not gonna multi-stitch Mirabilias. I need to stick with one lady and finish her. Um, so it's gonna be a new Heaven and Earth start. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. So I'm seriously considering getting up at five o'clock again uh, tomorrow and drive my husband to his work and hurry home, make some coffee and sit down and uh, make a new start. There we go. How does it look in the viewfinder? It looks kind of nice. I don't... Here... I like my stitches. Here... Not so much. Here, no, not at all. So, but... Oh my god, I've talked way too much. But anyway, so uh, this is how I'm stitching skin. I've started with the lightest. And then I will go with the darker shade and then the darkest, darkest shade. Um, so in my next floss tube, uh, I guess I will be done with that. And I'm going to show you uh, how it turned out. Uh, because then I will show you my progress. And I think there will be a floss tube number 14 this weekend because I've hit... The 500 subscriber mark uh, so I'm gonna show my appreciation um, so yeah um, that's all for today uh, thank you for watching and if you have any comments or questions you know where to write them I hope and hey don't forget to subscribe because then I will see you next time Bye.